In this video, we're going to explore the display inline block. And this is a very important one as well. Understanding this will help you to get a better understanding how we really respond to each other. And display inline block is basically what I would say a crossbreed between the block or display block and the display inline. So they join them together into one, having from both sides the certain aspects or characteristics. So this is very important. So let's start and explore this. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create some divs here. And there's a div, and I will say here inline block one. And then what I will do is I will add up two more. So you can see the total items here, and then we start to work on this. All right. In here, we're going to put in a class. We say inline block one. Now we say here, we can say uh, width 30 pixels, height 30 pixels. So we can easily spot them. And then we say background color or background. And we give this a hashtag triple three. And of course, you display inline block. All right. So I'm going to copy this and paste this two more times. So we have three items here. And this inline block is what we with as well. But then we say here different color, triple six, and then here triple nine. And what I want to do here is the height or the width will be 100%. So let's save this and refresh here. And now you can see, and let's open up the mobile version so it's easier to spot, it's easy. You can see here right now what's going on. First of all, the inline version is starting to go beside each other. However, because it is focused or because inline block has elements of inline and the benefits of block, this is why there's like a space here between. Why? Because a normal inline, so let's create another one. We'll call this an inline item. It's basically like a paragraph. So I'm going to make a paragraph here and I'll create an inline inline one and you will see it's basically the same item here so once there's an inline it basically behaves like a span span that would mean that there's a text here so let's say hello abc or hello inline and then what we're going to do here inline i'll just give it the exact same class name here and here we will have this we say inline number one And then we give this here a uh, padding. And this padding will be 10 pixels. And then you will notice a certain few things here. And then we have here as well a um, display, of course, which is inline. So once we save this and then refresh, you can see now what's going on here. Let me give it a color as well so you can easily spot the differences here. So let's make this one seven zero. All right. Refresh here and you can see now what is going on here. We have this item here. This is an inline. This is our div. And then we have the inline here as well. So you can see here we have the padding here. But what is happening basically, it is still, if there would be a padding here, it's supposed to go more down as you can see, but it doesn't. It ignores the padding top and padding bottom. Basically, if there will be only padding, well, we can make this zero for the first one for top and bottom zero, and then ten. We save this. You can see the position maintains same. It's still the same position. And the border color has reduced to the exact place, but it maintains the same position. So that means that inline does not respect the top and uh, the top and bottom padding. So because, and the reason why it is, is because it's an inline element. This means that it is behaving not like a block. It's inline, so it must respond like almost like a span. So it, this is exactly the same here with this inline span here and this, they are behaving similar. It's like text, it's considered as a text. And this is why as well, here there's some space because of the padding left and right is being respected. That's all right because of those, those are fine. Are the top and bottom not? So 
if we would remove here the space, you will see here, of course, this will be gone as well. So this is also a aspect of an inline. So inline block has the same character. Let's save that if you see them. Now, right now we have this here beside each other with a little bit of space. And the reason why is because we had the enter here. So it, it will register one space. So if we save this now and then we refresh, now you can see they just attach to each other. However, here as well, so it's an inline. As I told you before, it's a crossbreed between inline and block. It's an inline, so it respects or it takes the character character element of an inline with a space but it will also get the padding and the margin and all these other aspects that are related to a block so this is why this one is basically useful to understand but of course many people now are moving away from this and they're moving more and more to flexbox however i will cover that in another video but this is very important to understand here because these are the aspects here. Same here down. It creates here as well this space here because of the enters. Or there's a line break basically here. Or like there's some space here which is considered in the space as well. Very similar to inline. So this is most important part to understand. And if you have any questions regarding this, put them in the comment section below. And I'll make sure I get back to you. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.